And welcome back to Chulip. Another day, another smoocheroo. Hey, son, have you seen this Marmaduke? He's large. And in charge. <laughs> so last time, we did a lot of extra work so that we could give donations to the monk and he would finally talk to us. And today, he's coming to our town to ask for more money. <laughs> cool. I mean, it turned out so well last time. Why not keep fleecing these rubes? Yeah. Yeah, maybe one day he'll finally do something worthwhile. Dad, you know, I need money to give to organized religion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sniper is on the grassy knoll. <laughs> Just watch out for his shot and you'll be okay. Hey, quit being so insensitive. JFK was a hero. You're not gonna end up as fertilizer. Go give him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll meet Mr. Sniper later. I mean, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, sounds if, like I a mean, real charmer. I mean, if you do charmer. meet him, he's a pretty bad sniper. The whole point of it is he sees you, you don't see him. Yeah, he just oh. named himself that in the hopes he would, like, get better at it. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's actually called Mr. Sniper because he's looking for snipes. Ah, oh, good, we got breakfast. That looks more like a turt than the actual turt. <laughs> I was just gonna say, are you sure that's not just a poopy again? Ah, oh, no. A hidden poopy? <laughs> We're so lucky. So, cold sweet, sweet potatoes are, in fact, a healing item. I think they heal two points of self confidence. I completely forgot that's what the health is. <laughs> yup. And anyways, look, the monk made it to our town. He brought his cool moped. It's great. And everything, yeah. This is like the war spot to ask for money. <laughs> yeah, right at this crosswalk. Well, he's hoping to catch people when they want to cross. I mean, he could pa pass it off as like uh, alms for the disabled or something because his head kind of looks like a bruised parsnip. <laughs> I mean, also, let's be fair here, maybe his other spot of choice was, like, Crime Alley. Oh, yeah, that wouldn't be good. Not in Crime Alley. There's Alley. already a dude in there. He can't... Yeah. He's gonna get fucking shanked. <laughs> yeah, he would not be happy if this moocher came. <laughs> oh, good, we got some incense for our donations. Are we able to kiss him yet? No. That's boring. <laughs> Look, giving him six dollars, not enough for a kiss. Chorps, this game's so boring. When are you gonna kiss somebody already? <laughs> <laughs> when did you get like, a gun? Six people last night. <laughs> Jesus. I wish it was easier to kiss people in this game. I play video games to escape reality, not face it. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a girl six dollars once and she didn't kiss me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is too real. Can I get an action replay for kissing? <laughs> I actually really do want to see the action replay codes. It's like moon jump and infinite kisses. <laughs> and also big head. For better kissing. There's actually a small head mode to just make your body proportional. Oh, why are you saying that frying pan? You can use it to make those cold sweet potatoes not cold. Well, um, I mean, yes. But we could also sell them to this man. <laughs> oh, you're just helping him out. Yeah, that's he nice of you. Too. We got the incense sticks for a dollar, and we can sell them for a dollar. I think that's a pretty good profit. I mean, Chorps yeah. is too much of a, a pro esports man to ever get hit in this game, so he doesn't need them. <laughs> right. And we sold those so we can get an item that's very important for the end of this quest. A magnifying glass. But you're not gonna buy the computer. I thought you were a gamer, chirps. <laughs> we can't afford that computer yet. It's like $120. Well, be a gamer and earn some money. <laughs> <laughs> I hear streaming's it. hot these days. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just I can take out kisses. a loan. You know, we should stop this LP and just stream nowadays. Keep, keep away from the <laughs> LP stuff. You'll never get anywhere with that shit. Yeah, all you do is eventually end up being racist. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to spend the rest of this day getting the last couple of kisses that we hadn't gotten in this town. So first of all, here in Crime Alley, we've got Mr. Music. It's about to become Kiss Alley. 
I'm just so pissed about this stupid accordion. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very weird accordion, Jay. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking... It's a music box. Okay. Oh, yeah. This ukulele is bad. I hate it. <laughs> Oh, uh, saxophones? No way. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's so pissed. He thinks it's an accordion. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't try to cover up your mistakes, buddy. Oh, man. But yeah, so in, in, hey, between, his, uh, in between his verses, you can kiss him. <laughs> and then I'll give you a tip of the hat. And a whole dollar. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go give it to that preacher. He tips his hat, my poor boy. <laughs> And there's also that one in the hospital, which you may remember from last time. Let's meet Chuck. Honestly, I would be pissed too if this happened to me. He's got chronic back pain. That's why he lives I, here. I don't think you should touch that man. I, <laughs> I, I think mean, this is the a least bad you could idea. do is like open the zipper. Yeah. <laughs> he was no, actually saving this his way. first kiss for marriage, so you're really <laughs> just. Oh, you're just being very considerate. Yeah, I'm being considerate. Yeah. And I'm just kink shaving. That's sweet. But yeah, so in that corner of the hospital, he'll like swing around, and you just have to wait for him to stop swinging. And then he'll kiss you. This guy will never stop being a swinger. <laughs> oh, you are right. So are there like That's weird gross. like racks on the ceiling in the hospital so he can swing around here? <laughs> Look, sometimes you gotta find a place that'll accept your alternative lifestyles. Like Dad's house. Why does he yeah. knock on his own door? Uh, let's make sure his dad knows he's coming in and not, I don't know, a thief. <laughs> to make sure his or... dad isn't masturbating to the paper again. <laughs> I mean, not like he'd be able to see you anyway. You should cut that. Ah, <laughs> uh, the ju junior jumble is boob at this time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, catsy baby. <laughs> say it, say it. <laughs> Our cat sounds more and more upset <laughs> every time we kiss one of these people. Chuck? Oh god, not Chuck. Oh, uh, you don't know where it's, that guy's been. He's saving himself from marriage, how could you do that? <laughs> Lovers drink and you'd like take that kiss back? My son's falling in with the wrong crowd. <laughs> Man, we're already five levels up. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> and we are a bad teen now. As opposed to those good teenagers to see all day. <laughs> right. It's more that he's just really bad at being a teenager. <laughs> oh, yeah, that probably makes sense. I mean, he's 12, of course he is. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, poor boy should get a shirt that says, I'm close to leveling up and you look like some free XP. <laughs> oh and my god. Please don't, because I've had someone at my last internship that had exactly that <laughs> shirt. Did they try to kill you? No, he tried to kiss I, him. I'm not even I'm not exactly sure which one of those would be worse. <laughs> That's cool, though. No. <laughs> Well, we're off to a busy day. Let's see what the comics have to say. Oh, that boy from Sits. He's a good teenager, not like you. <laughs> Man, it must be a slow day if they're just writing about a guy staying home. <laughs> Hell, I could be the newspaper then. I mean, the name was Ad Balloon. I think they're just writing about balloons now. They're not even people. Next up, we're gonna kiss the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> On what is decidedly a bad year. Anyways, now that all the prep work has been done, it's time 
to take our business to the temple. He doesn't deserve any more of our money. We've yeah. given him so much. We give and give, and we can't even get a sweet holy kiss. Come on, Don't worry, poopy. We're, ta- we're taking some back. Come on, poopy. So, you know, I can be honest here. I think last episode we were a little too anti-religion. I think we should be more pro-religion this time. I think the monk is good. And me too. I love God. He gave us a frog. He th- Why did he throw a frog away? Well, maybe the frog just jumped in there. (laughs) Because the frog said some mean things about God. (laughs) It was part of the the plague that cursed Egypt. So, the monk won't show up until after his long shifts of asking for money during the day. So we're gonna hide in his house. Yep, so we're gonna take a nap in his bed. (laughs) Ah, oh, never mind. It's too uncomfortable for us. Oh, so picky about our beds. Oh, man, the linen count here is so high. I'm not used to this. <laughs> oh, no, this Casper mattress is too comfortable. This LP is sponsored by Casper. <laughs> There's some mystery stuff in there. <laughs> but anyways, I guess we gotta, you know, spend a little time before the monk will show up. She just came here to sleep and then leave? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just just here to take a nap and rummage through his trash. I mean, that's my day-to-day life. Do you think I'm weird? Look, this is the only job poor boy can get at 12. <laughs> Child labor laws are serious business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if we show up here and wait a bit, we might see something cool. By a bit, you mean six hours. That's right! Oh, cool. <laughs> that's yeah, that's sick cool. wheelie! <laughs> we should see if he's going to do any jumps. <laughs> I'm trying to follow him as fast as I can. But his moped is just too dang cool. Maybe I should become more religious if it makes me that cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is a pro-religion episode, so normally I would say no, but this time I would say yes, God. <laughs> Yes. I've heard of a <laughs> radical preacher before, but this is ridiculous. Oh I mean, his hog is powered by God. You can't really... There's too much power to handle. They use wine as fuel. <laughs> I mean, how is that different from my mom? Wolf, uh, duh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> my mom doesn't drink. I'm glad the viewers shouldn't be worried about your home life. <laughs> it's all crack cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's just a joke. I'm not actually funny. <laughs> I think this monk disagrees. So I guess he also knows that he has a bad gong. Well, thankfully, we're going to find it today. And we're going to do that because earlier he said that his father wrote some stuff on his head in order to help remember something important. And that's the names of several people along with numbers. (laughs) Oh, God. Um. I hope you guys are taking notes. I'm going to have a test on this. Is he just Zaz from Batman? (laughs) Oh, oh, that's actual letters. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So that was a difficult piece of localization. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, I don't think in the original Japanese that seemed like any better of a puzzle. I mean, the rest of the, <laughs> the Japanese on his head looked like not stretched and squished and such. Like, it looked readable. Yeah. <laughs> but now that we have this list of information, we can do something with it. Because these names are names that show up on the graves in this graveyard. Oh my god, his father (laughs) killed them. (laughs) And so at each one, we have to pay our respects, light an incense stick, and go in the order that the numbers gave us. 
And let me tell you, you could do this at any time of day, but I like to do it at night because it's a little more, uh, dangerous. <laughs> there might be a cop. Yeah, what if there's a cop going around here? There actually is a cop-like entity for this area. Is it a ghost? <laughs> it is the Grim Reaper. A ghost cop? Yes. So we gotta be careful and we gotta do this really fast. I mean, the and Grim it's hard. Reaper is a lot like the police of the ghost world, if you think about it. Yeah, I guess you got a point. That's, I mean, whenever you die, he shows up bringing you to ghost jail. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you can't masturbate in public. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the last time somebody will tell Joe Rogan that. <laughs> So, uh, at this point, I got really kind of worried, because I got lost in the graveyard. I mean, I'd be worried, too. I couldn't remember where the gravestone was for the third guy. Let me tell you, I was sweating. Also, you're panicking because the cop is going to give you a Pepsi. <laughs> right. <laughs> but thankfully... I eventually found my way to the right one. Nope, wait, wrong one. <laughs> oh my god, Sherp, I thought you were an expert at this. Are you going to die here? <laughs> I hope not. We'll try not to. Okay, there we go. Third one. Let's do it. I think there were seven total, so I mean... <laughs> if we don't keep up this pace, we might be okay. But I believe the Grim Reaper shows up by midnight. Uh-oh. So we have less than two hours to, to do the rest of this. Is this why the cop sends you to the graveyard if you get too many crime tickets? Because his buddy, the Grim Reaper, will take care of you from there? <laughs> oh my god, maybe. To get kickbacks from that? <laughs> I think we should be nicer to the cop, just like we should be nice to religion. All right, Everything's this, good this episode. <laughs> this is a pro-cop episode. Give a Pepsi to God. <laughs> This is a 100% cop speed run. All cops. <laughs> We're gonna kiss that cop 50 times and try to make it count. I think that's the last one. Well, besides the- this is the last one, there we go. I hope so, this doesn't trigger my millennial sense of entitlement in which I want instant gratification. <laughs> well, don't worry, something's about to be instant and gratified. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> oh, cool. So I hope you have nine health, otherwise you die there. And... We found his dad's wooden gong, hidden underneath, inside, somewhere near the grave. I mean, you just have to desecrate one little grave, so I, I don't think see it was a big actually deal. inside the body of the person buried in the grave. Anyways, again, I got very scared, so I cut out a part where I ran back to the bathroom so I could save. <laughs> I mean, you've been in the graveyard for too long. I mean, considering the people we've seen so far, the gong might, may as well just be a person. Yeah, maybe we can kiss it. But now we're going to sit here and watch this old man sleep until he wakes up. It's how I spend every night. Death? <laughs> cool. <laughs> Oh, he can afford something like that, but still needs to beg us for money. That's where all that money went to. I mean, that came with the job. And now, it's finally time Hi. to give him back his family's wooden gong. Yeah, don't give him the frog. He's just going to hit that with the stick. <laughs> The legendary My Dad's Wooden Gong. <laughs> yeah. You guys really gotta work on your naming. <laughs> there we go, guys! 
Now we just gotta kiss his daughter. <laughs> a kiss for the monk. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Every kiss is worth it. That's what I like about this game. No kiss is worth more than the other. Ah! Anyway, so that's, that's apparently the sound of what a wooden gong should be. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> and good news, from I think 6 to 7 every day, uh, both 6 and 7s, AM and PM, that sound will play if you are in this area. <laughs> <laughs> good. I mean, it is kind of amazing that they've carved it in such a way that it it produces a very unique sound. Gotta gotta hand it to them. Yeah, it's some craftsmanship. Anyways, there's a kiss that shows up here before we truly finish our quest, and I kind of wait around to see if I can grab it. There he is! Yeah, uh, but, cool. But we can't kiss him. What? Uh, so the snobby Tengu will jump from gravestone to gravestone, and you're supposed to wait for a moment when he falls flat on his face, and then he becomes prone for kissing. Mm -hmm. I left this in just to show that sometimes a cycle for a kissable character just never lets you kiss them. So there is some trial and error to this game. Oh boy. Yeah, it's that's a little blows. frustrating, but yeah. Yeah, like I imagine like if this happened to me, I would have thought like, oh, I must have I must have to like use an item to make him slip up or something. Mm hmm I gotta grease down these graves. <laughs> Sorry I killed your wife, I guess? <laughs> Again? <laughs> I mean, I killed two something. Hey, and save some time of hiding the body this time. I guess so. And so, we get one part of the love letters set. <laughs> and with that life lesson, we're off to show off what our hard work got us to Mr. Suzuki. Just gotta crawl down into his whole home. Please don't talk about Mr. Suzuki's whole home. <laughs> I'm sorry. Help, please do. I'm pro <laughs> Mr. Suzuki's whole home. <laughs> oh no, he knows we're a fat teen. I mean, everyone does. I mean, just look at you. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, just came to ask you what happiness is. Bye. <laughs> Bye! Oh wait, no, I also have this thing. Hi. And a frog! Do you want a frog? <laughs> I mean, you look like you could use a friend. Maybe... That's what happiness is. A relaxed, retired life. Maybe happiness is a warm gong. <laughs> and now for the lesson of the day. Oh, okay. True. That guy has issues, and that guy sounds like he needs a therapist. <laughs> that guy has damage tattooed to his forehead. <laughs> yeah, except it just says depression. 